lung cancer. Action and a boring called the hack on liver and fracking. And welcome to the first debate when it comes to inflammation, especially inflammation in regards to pomegranate. Now, you may be surprised to find out that pomegranate may be the next most powerful anti-inflammatory to hit the market. Now, here we go. Now, follow me. In a research article, without being redundant, called Research Underway to Create Pomegranate Drug. I know a lot of you are going to get stuck in the pomegranate drug part. To stem Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Now, this article was published in the August 2014 Journal of Molecular Nutrition and Food Research. Now, this one doctor, very innovative doctor, by the name of Dr. Ola Hyde, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, and his team, took two years out to study pomegranate. I expect to find out what the active ingredient is in pomegranate when it comes to inflammation, particularly neuroinflammation. Now, over these two years, they experimented on rats to discover that the certain polyphenols in pomegranate that help reduce neuroinflammation in regards to a specialized group of brain cells called the microlagia, which, when they become inflamed, create a cascade effect which contributes to Alzheimer's and or other neurological conditions. Now, what happened with this? From these groups of polyphenols, they were able to isolate this one polyphenol called punicalicin. I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. Punic allegin was able to, in their words, stop or inhibit the inflammation of these specialized brain cells called the microlagia. Now, punic allegin stops inflammation on a lot of different pathways, not just neuroinflammation, but inflammation as a whole. Now, I'll continue. Hang on. Well, they discovered it can inhibit the inflammation, and in their words, they said, quote, may prevent or slow Alzheimer's. They didn't say cure, they just said may prevent or slow Alzheimer's if inflammation is obviously contributing to it. Now they did one cool thing here. Now they discovered the pomegranate in this punicalicum and pomegranate also may work for rheumatoid arthritis, cancers, Parkinson's, or anything which you have inflammation involved. And he did one really nice thing, Dr. Olahide. I think he did it nice because as he goes through his history, coming from Nigeria, they basically said how their parents used to work with a lot of herbs and things when people got sick or injured or whatever. And through his experiences, it seemed to work. So the cool thing Dr. Olahide did is he gave you a percentage of this active ingredient, punicalagin, in pomegranate juice, 100% pure pomegranate juice. He said, that 100% pure pomegranate juice contains about 3.4% punicalicum, this powerful anti-inflammatory. Most of it resides in the skin, but in the juice, you're going to get about 3.4% of it will be this active, powerfully active component. Now, here's where the research needs to come in, the therapeutic levels. How much is needed to prevent or help us slow Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, or neurological conditions? They don't know. That's going to unfold later on. But in the meantime, he said, go for it. Now, they found out again, it is a powerful anti-inflammatory against many different things. And if you're going to look for pomegranate juice, 100% pure pomegranate juice, make sure it doesn't have sugar and things in it like that that are added, which can create some problems. So, pomegranate juice may be your next best anti-inflammatory on the horizon. And your active chemical out of the polyphenols is punicalagin. And it may be a very inexpensive, very easy to access tool. Thank you.